So when we're talking about normal breathing and optimal breathing, there's really an important gas that we need to consider in, of course, in addition to carbon dioxide, and that's nitric oxide. And basically nitric oxide, it's produced in the paranasal sinuses and it's continuously released into the nasal cavity. So it's released into the nasal airways in humans and during inspiration through the nose, this nitric oxide will follow the airstream to the lower airways and to the lungs. And nitric oxide, it plays an important role in vasoregulation. Um, in other words, in the opening and closing of blood vessels. It also plays a role in homeostasis and that's maintaining balance in the body. And it plays a role in your transmission in the brain cells communicating with each other. It also plays a role in immune defense and in respiration. And in 1992, scientists proclaimed nitric oxide as a molecule of the air. They said it was the one molecule in the human body which unites all the major disciplines of medicine. Now, this took about 10 years to achieve because before that, scientists thought that yes, nitric oxide is very toxic outside of the human body. It plays a role in pollution. And it, it took a while to grasp that a gas that was so toxic outside of the human body could actually pay, play quite an important role within it. So according to Dr. Oz, um, nitric oxide, it comes from the back of your nose and, and sinuses into the lungs. And this short-lived gas dilates the air passages in the lungs. So basically it sterilizes the incoming air. Um, you can imagine that the you know, atmospheric air is going to be laden with germs and bacteria. So nitric oxide, one of the roles of nitric oxide is to help to neutralize that, um, to sterilize the air so that it arrives into the lungs in a conditioned form. And since nitric oxide, according to Professor Jan Lundberg, he's from the Karolinska Institute in Sweden, which is a very, very famous medical institute in Europe. Nitric oxide is continuously released into the nasal airways. The concentration will be dependent on the flow rate by which the sample is aspirated. Now, what this means is that nasal nitric oxide concentrations will be higher at lower flow rates. So if we're breathing gently, we get a higher concentration of NO coming into the nose, into the lungs, into the blood. And one of the functions of nitric oxide in the blood vessels is that it literally opens and helps improve blood circulation. Um, another function is that it's recognized that it helps to reverse cholesterol, helps to reverse the buildup of plaque. So for people say with hypertension. And in 1998, three scientists, including Dr. Louis Ignaro, who is Director of Pharmacology at UCLA, they were award awarded the Nobel Prize for Medicine and Physiology with their discovery that nitric oxide plays a role in the signaling of the cardiovascular system. And when news came out about the importance of nitric oxide, drug companies put a lot of research into developing a tablet or a drug that could mimic the effects. And they come up with a medication that has been pretty much the best-selling medication ever. Um, and it's based on the properties of nitric oxide and the drug is called Viagra.